Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at how you can generate and view a battery report and view the battery cycle count in this report if you are running Windows 10 and 11 on a laptop. Now, this can be handy if you want to find out about your battery's health. As an example, you may be wanting to see how much longer your battery has before you have to replace it or before you have to replace your Windows 10 and or 11 laptop. Now this video idea was given to me by one of my subscribers and I thought that it would be a useful video to post. Now to generate a report uh, is very similar in both Windows 10 and 11 and we have to run command prompt as administrator and enter a command and in Windows 10 and 11 you can just do a search for command prompt and run it as administrator. I've saved mine to my start menu for easier access. I'm going to run it as administrator. And at the prompt, just enter this command power CFG space forward slash battery report. And I will leave uh, this command down below in the description box for you to copy and paste for easier reference. And um, once you've entered the uh, command, you just hit enter and that will generate the battery, battery life report saved to file path C Windows system 32 battery report.html. And to get to that, we just head to our C drive, go to your Windows folder. In your Windows folder, go to your System32 folder. And in your System32 folder, just look for the battery report. And here we can see it. Just double click on that. And because it's a .html file, it will open up in your default browser. And in the battery report, here we can see some useful information regarding our device. And under installed batteries, it gives us information about each currently installed battery. I have one battery installed, gives me the name, the manufacturer, the serial number, the chemistry, the design capacity, and the full charge capacity, which are uh, measured in milliwatt hours. Now, the design capacity is the original maximum charge of your battery, while the full charge capacity is how much charge your laptop battery is capable of currently holding now. And if these two numbers are very similar and close, then you have a healthy battery. And as you can see, in my case, these figures are very close and similar. So I have a healthy laptop battery, and I would hope so, because I only purchased this laptop late last year. Now, yeah, you get to your cycle count, which in some cases may not appear, as you can see in my case. But the cycle count shows how many times the battery has gone through a charge and refers to one full drain of a battery's charge from 100 to 0%. Now, this isn't always the case. And as an example, if your laptop battery drains from 100% to 50%, and then you charge it up again to 100% and let it drop to 50%, again, that also counts as one cycle. So just be aware of that. And then, yeah, you get some um, other handy and useful information regarding your usage and some statistics about the a battery that is installed on your device. And yeah, you get your recent usage, power stats over the last three days, your battery usage, battery drains over the last three days, usage history, history of system usage on AC and battery, which could be quite handy, battery capacity history, charge capacity history of the system's batteries, and then your battery life estimates, battery life estimates based on observed drains. So as mentioned, um, uh, these other little reports that are generated in the battery report just give you some handy information regarding the use and how you use your laptop and your laptop battery. But the main one here is just to find out uh, the difference between your design capacity and your full charge capacity. Um, as mentioned, if those two figures are very similar, then you have a healthy battery which means in my case that my battery is healthy, so I won't have to replace my battery and my device in the near future. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.